The vegetable patch was started actually at the instigation of the young people themselves. Um, we had already begun to look at healthy eating and some life skills kind of cooking and they identified that they had the space, they knew that we had some staff that had the wherewithal and they had the enthusiasm initially to say well why don't we give it a go and they have begun to look after it like it was a family garden. Right Jamie, take the seedling. Some of our young people are developmentally not at the stage where they can sit down and concentrate and stay focused on text-based work for significant lengths of time. They can still learn key concepts, they can still pursue problem solving and they can actually see the relevance of, of the context in which the learning's taking place. You put the fork in the ground and dig your carrots up, right? You've got to be careful, you don't damage the carrot with the prongs of the fork, all right? When that becomes evident to them, then they become more successful and so it actually alters the cycle of failure and turns it the other way around. So it becomes a cycle of success and a cycle of enjoyment. And that, for some of them, is, is quite a new experience. <laughs> and we worked on all this, digging it all up and raking it all and installing, like, vegetables, like... I learn how to plant food, how to grow and then how to pull it all up and eat it. We wash them. Then we cook them, then we eat them. The camp cooking that we've done today um, is actually basically taking food technology outside. Um, a lot of these children, they aren't used to preparing their own meals. It is something they've never experienced before. Right, guys, we're going to start cooking the lunch now. It's great to cook outdoors because you can um, talk to your mate. At the same time. It's a nice bit about the classroom. I've been stuck in school all day. Be better friends when you're outdoors and learn to work as a team. The whole thing about sharing and the social skills is just as important as the practical skills. And what we find again is that when those young people come back into school, because they have sat with Mr So-and-so and... -so and you know, shared a sausage sarnie and a cup of tea that they cut together and, and produced together or whatever, then they are more amenable to working with that member of staff in that particular subject area or they're more comfortable generally with their classmates and therefore the kind of fractiousness that might occur out of peer rivalry and, and it diminishes all of those things. I want some bread. Well done, lad. Seeing the children here come from another school where the, the body language is, is sort of low, the, the self-esteem is low, the parents have got nothing good to say about them, and then six months' time to see them leaving, to get parents ringing up to say there's a different child at home, he doesn't lose his temper quite as often, that makes it all worthwhile because that we've done something good for that child, however small it may be.